State leaders are planning to make a decision on popular weight loss medications that have skyrocketed in use. CBS 17's Mariah Ellis has been following this story throughout the day. She joins us live. Mariah, what did they decide? Yeah, it's been a long conversation this afternoon. We do know that these drugs are known for really helping people lose weight and especially helping people who have diabetes. But what we do know as well is the North Carolina State Treasurer as well as board members had recommended earlier that they do not provide full coverage of these medications simply because they come at too high of a cost. Wagobi, Saxenda, Ozempic. The popular medications aiding in weight loss are skyrocketing in demand. That shot has given me the greatest relief because I have lost 32 pounds on it. I agree that these medications are expensive, but the solution is not the elimination of coverage. North Carolina state employees echoing similar responses during a board of trustees state health plan meeting Thursday, saying a loss in coverage could be a loss in access for many, some even calling it a life-saving drug. We know that the manufacturer of these weight loss drugs is charging the state health plan almost three times as much as they do in Europe even though the drug is made down the road in Clayton. Local health experts say the injectable medication has helped hundreds. And the results are dramatic. I've never in 19 years of practice seen anything like this. About 4% of state employees, more than 23,000 people currently receive coverage. However, State Treasurer Dale Falwell says it comes at a $14 million monthly cost to the state. That could exceed $600 million annually in the next five years. He says the financial impact is simply not manageable. The cost of this one drug has the potential of bankrupting public service workers' health plans across the United States. This is unfair. Some of the other uh, just concerns that the North Carolina State Treasurer had is just what this could mean for people's premiums. We're also told we just heard from people walking outside of this meeting that they hope to make a decision by the beginning of next year to see some of those changes and what this coverage will look like. I'll make sure to keep you updated as we learn more. And Raleigh Mariah Ellis, CBS 17 News. All right, Mariah, thank you.